Hello and welcome. We're so excited that you're joining us today as we discuss the amazing ability we have to create our reality using affirmations. I'm Monica Morani. And I'm Lee Carroll, the original channel for Cryon for over 30 years. And together <laughs> we're going to share with you our experiences of using affirmations and then provide you with hints about how to create your own affirmations. We're going to go through five affirmations with you and then finally we will give you a meditation and Cryon channel. Now, creating and using affirmations, it isn't new. For decades, people have been using affirmations for inspiration, motivation, and to achieve success in just about anything. My first exposure, or I would say my first introduction to affirmations, was actually through a good friend of mine, and you might recognize this name. Her name is Louise Hay, and she had published a book a long time ago called You Can Heal Your Life, a book of affirmations. Now, at some stage, I asked her what it was like to have a published book at a time where affirmations weren't really accepted or even believed that they could change anything. I'll never forget what her reply was. Does something stick with you? And she looked at me and said, oh, you mean other than the death threats? Huh? Oh, yes, folks, you didn't mishear me. Louise actually received death threats for her affirmation book. Now, Many of you watching are probably just like me. I gasped in disbelief. But honestly, what Louise was doing was so out of the box for its time, for her time, back then. But her life is living proof that affirmations work. I knew Louise personally, and she was someone who absolutely lived her truth. I have many wonderful stories shared over the years about the many milestones she achieved using affirmations. Louise also helped so many others, including myself. Five of my books have been published by her publishing company, Hay House. And it was Louise Hay who sat in the front row of a cryon seminar in Laguna Hills, California, when I channeled the story of Michael Thomas and the Seven Angels. When that channel was over, Louise came up to me. I, there's some things you just don't forget. And she said, you need to extend that channel as a book. I'm going to publish it for you. Boy, it was the fastest book deal I ever had. Many of you have read it. It's called The Journey Home. But I think one of Louise's greatest legacies is that she has endowed and empowered all of us with tools to use in order to create a beautiful life. Absolutely. And I remember reading Louise's book, You Can Heal Your Life, and it had a huge impact for me. It showed me that we're not victims, that we can change the direction that our life is going. It was a wonderful precursor to my eventual discovery of Cryon and the love of my life, Lee Carroll. But before Lee and before Cryon, even before Louise, my first introduction to affirmations was via an extraordinary woman by the name of Florence Scovel Shin. Take a look at this image of Florence. She was actually born in 1871 and she died in 1940, but her eloquent writings, they spoke directly to my soul. Let me share some of that with you now. The invisible forces are ever working for man who is always pulling the strings himself, though he does not know it. Owing to the vibratory power of words, whatever man voices, he begins to attract. Now, let me translate that for you if you find that style of language difficult to understand. And you can see that that was even written in a time where we would use man to describe humanity. But the translation is this. You create your own reality from the words you speak. Now, two of Florence's books had that theme in the title, your Word is Your Wand, that was published in 1928 and then she later went on and published The Power of the Spoken Word. But her most classic book, well, that was called The Game of Life and How to Play It and that was published back in 1925. It's helped thousands to find a richer and fuller life filled with a sense of purpose and belonging. 
The most powerful affirmations you can use are the ones that trigger a deep emotional response within every fiber of your being. I'd like to share with you some more affirmations from Florence, and it really, really resonated with me and my personality. Here was an affirmation she wrote for love. I am at peace with myself and the whole world. I love everyone and everyone loves me. The floodgates of my good now open. And here's two affirmations she wrote for abundance. All that is mine by divine right is now released and reaches me in great avalanches of abundance under grace in miraculous ways. And then another for abundance, infinite spirit, open the way for my great abundance. I am an irresistible magnet for all that belongs to me by divine right. Now, the reason I love the affirmations from Florence and Louise is because of the the feeling that accompanies the words that truly allow me to to bathe in that verbiage and know it to be true. I feel so uplifted in saying them. And I have that same feeling of divine love and inspiration when I hear the channeled messages of Cryon. So what does Cryon say about affirmations? Well, for years, Cryon has been telling us about the power of the words we speak and what we say and that our body is listening. Back in 2003, Kryan gave a channel called All About Self-Worth. You see, one of the attributes of an old soul, believe it or not, is they often do not have good self-worth. In fact, they have low self-worth. Slowly, this is beginning to change, but many are still working the puzzle of the lack of self-worth. One of the key attributes that Kryan gave in that channel in order to help us increase our angelic awareness and provide self-worth balance was the use of personal verbal affirmations. Here's what Cryon said about it. Watch what you say. The words out of your mouth are constructs of energy that are divine. They go into the air and they're fulfilled as best can be by those energies in your body and those around you who try their best to fulfill what you desire to co-create. Perhaps in a negative situation, you might have said, oh, great, I knew that would happen. Your cellular structure says, did you hear that? The boss liked it. The entities around you hear it too. Did you hear that? The boss thinks that's great. Let's do it again. Did you ever think of that? (laughs) The cells hear it. They'll do their best to make sure it happens again. Wow. Watch what you say. Instead of negative posturing, give yourself positive affirmations. Blessed is the human being who understands the power of human speech. That's the end of the crying message. So right away, crying is telling us that when you speak affirmations out loud with conscious intent, because you first hear it with your ears, your body understands what you're doing. Statements of intent carry energy. Words spoken into the air have frequencies that your intelligent body consciousness understands. Brian has also said that since 2012, in this new energy, affirmations are even more powerful than ever before. There are systems of support, such as an energy grids of the Earth system that are transmitting benevolent energies for all of humanity. There's also a very unique multidimensional chromosome pair, the 24th one, that Krein has talked about a lot recently, that every human has which actively is seeking to harmonize and create coherence. These systems respond to design, compassionate action, intention, kindness, and love. I'd love for you to think about affirmations like a kind of, a kind of homeopathy. You know how that works? Homeopathy is where you put a tincture, a very small amount of substance, into your body, generally under the tongue, and then the body responds to it. So in the case of an affirmation, Instead of a chemical tincture, you're using a verbal one. Your body is a multidimensional vessel, and you can change the very core of who you are. You can change your biology and the nature of your experiences, of your existence. 
What do you think would begin to happen for you if every day you could wake up and say, I create miracles in my life. I expect good things. God is in every human and light is everywhere. I'll celebrate the creator. I'm pretty certain that if you said that every morning for at least two months, that you would notice some differences in your life. One of the things that Crine has said is that the more we say affirmations with pure intent, the more real it becomes. And when I say pure intent and people ask, what's pure intent? Well, you focus and you get clear and it's it really what you want. It's what you're intending. It's not a casual conversation. It's not a wishful conversation. Now, when you say affirmations that create coherence with energy of benevolence is when it gets even more powerful. And the reason is because your soul is built to be a piece of God. And that delivers divinity and peace to you. How many times can we create solutions just coming from being in that state of peace? That's, that's when we get the solutions to what we need. So your soul is part of everyone else's as well. And that's why affirmations, the words we speak, it involves not just your body, but those around you, even those that you haven't even met yet. When you're using affirmations, you're interacting with the field of potentials. You're not isolated on your own. So let's say you're wanting to find a new place to live. So you can create an affirmation for that. Dear spirit, you might say, I stand in awe and gratitude at living in my perfect new place that perfectly suits the magnificence of my soul. Now, sometimes the reality you're co-creating, it's delivered very quickly. But if it isn't, rest assured that the reason is because there's other things that need to shift within the field of potentials. Now, the other thing that might need to shift is your belief. Do you believe that you can truly have it? So belief is absolutely the first key in it. And if you don't believe it, maybe you can start working on an affirmation to increase your level of belief. But let's say you do believe it and you've put in that affirmation to find my new place and it seems like it's taking forever. Well, this is where we're being asked to feel divine timing and be wise and circumspect. Trust that you will absolutely know the signs and synchronicities to look for. And if you're finding yourself anxious, that you're not getting any signs, guess what? You can create an affirmation to help get clear and have peace over your original request. For example, dear spirit, I know that I am loved beyond measure. I am at peace with my situation. I constantly attract small signs and reassurances that let me know my statements of intent are being made manifest. So as you can see, affirmations can be used for any situation. Question, how do we create our own affirmations? Is there a right way to do it? The answer to the question that Monica just asked, in my opinion, is yes. There is a right way to create affirmations. The key to creating affirmations is that they should always say what you have and not the desire to have it. If you desire love in your life, the affirmation becomes, I am love. If you desire good health, the affirmation is, I am healthy. When creating affirmation, use words such as, I am or I have. Never use the words such as I desire or I want. <laughs> Affirmations are statements of truth, not wishful thinking. If you have trouble creating affirmations, a great place to start is to make statements about the things you're grateful for. As your gratitude increases, you attract more things to be thankful for. The more you begin to be aware of the words you choose to say and use, the more you begin to reframe and posture your reality. 
If you're constantly using words and thoughts that are biased toward gratitude and benevolence, then that becomes your automatic default program. So how often should we say affirmations? And is it important to say them out loud? Oh, great questions, Lee. I'm going to answer the last question first. Should we say them out loud? I'm going to say yes. When you say your affirmations out loud, you actually, you're hearing what you are saying and then the cellular structure of your body, it's involved and the vibrations are carried in the air. They have frequencies. So saying affirmations out loud, it also means that you're putting intent behind your actions. Regarding the question about how often should we say affirmations? Well, the answer, it's going to be different for each person. And it also depends on the type of affirmation you're saying. Some affirmations may lend themselves to be used on a daily basis. And again, it's all about what is it that you're wanting to see manifest with your affirmation. So a daily affirmation, I'll give you an example. This is one that I use as part of my morning routine when I'm, you know, putting on my face cream and moisturizer. I like to say, I am eternal youth and I am youthing every day. The cells of my body hold the blueprints and templates of perfect health and vitality. I am eternal youth, and I am youthing every day. And that's basically become ingrained in me now. I can just say it and feel the empowering effect of using those words. But you might have another affirmation that you've created for, say, a situation where you want to feel a little bit more peace and calm coming in, and you don't necessarily use that every day, but you go to it when you need it. Uh, for example, here's an affirmation for that situation. Deep within me is a never-ending well of peace and tranquility. The soothing stillness of my soul permeates the cells of my body. So when I first began using affirmations, I found it so helpful to use those created by others. It's actually a really good place to start. And earlier, uh, Lee and I both mentioned affirmations from Louise Hay and Florence Scovel Shin. And there's so many that are accessible and available to us now thanks to the internet. So that's a great place to start. Choose affirmations that you connect with. The more you use the affirmations that you love, the more your own consciousness begins to change. And once affirmations become a habit in your life, it becomes easier to create your own affirmations because an affirmation that you create for yourself using your own language and the verbiage that suits your personality, well, that's going to be the most powerful one by far. And it's actually the reason why I deliberately created three blank cards within my affirmation card deck. And I did that so that you can write your own affirmation onto a beautifully illustrated card. But you don't need to buy the card deck for that. You can simply download beautiful graphics for free and use that for inspiration. And speaking of inspiration, it was the loving messages from Cryon that motivated me to create affirmations using what I want to call the Cryon consciousness to address the magnificence that resides within us that Cryon keeps telling us about. So to that end, I've created over 100 affirmations that Lee and I are going to deliver in 11 videos within the Chrysalis Academy. It's our new online cryon school. And if that's something you're interested in, you can find out more information at cryonmasters.com. But before Lee and I conclude our time with you, we would love to give you a sample of the kinds of affirmations that you can expect from the consciousness of Cryon. So to that end, we've chosen five affirmations for you to enjoy and participate with us, which are going to be presented in our online course called Manifesting Your Mastery. You're invited to say the affirmations with us 
your subconscious will automatically hear the statements and saying the affirmation out loud with us will deepen the experience for you. Here's an affirmation that you can use on a daily basis. This is one of two I'm going to present to you. I am wise beyond my years and see the blessings in everything. The life puzzles I solve are the catalysts for planetary change and increase the vibration of the planet. My very existence is sacred and blessed. I'm going to say it again. I am wise beyond my years and see the blessings in everything. The life puzzles I solve are the catalysts for planetary change and increase the vibration of the planet. My very existence is sacred and blessed. Here is an affirmation for relationships. I give thanks for the beautiful marriage that I have with my higher self. I am complete and whole and radiate love. This radiance attracts a multitude of other loving humans into my life. I celebrate the depth of my many and wondrous relationships. And one more time, I give thanks for the beautiful marriage that I have with my higher self. I am complete and whole and radiate love. This radiance attracts a multitude of other loving humans into my life. I celebrate the depth of my many and wondrous relationships. Here's another affirmation, and this one is for health. My core essence is part of the creative source, and it floods my cellular structure with a pure light of perfect health. The pure light of God flows constantly through my cells. Let's do it again. My core essence is part of the creative source and it floods my cellular structure with a pure light of perfect health. The pure light of God flows constantly through my cells. Here is an affirmation for abundance. I gratefully accept the continuous flow of abundance that reaches me in many miraculous and unexpected ways. Once again, I gratefully accept the continuous flow of abundance that reaches me in many miraculous and unexpected ways. Lastly, here is another affirmation you may wish to use on a daily basis. My presence on earth is sacred, anointed, blessed and on purpose. I claim the magnificence of my eternal soul so that I'll walk in a bubble of love that embraces everyone I meet. Let's say it again. My presence on earth is sacred, anointed, blessed, and on purpose. I claim the magnificence of my eternal soul so that I walk in a bubble of love that embraces everyone I meet. And so now we would like to invite you to find a comfortable position as we prepare for a meditation and channel from Cryon. Allow your breathing to slow down, breathing in through the nose and very slowly exhaling through your mouth. And as the rhythm of your breath becomes a beautiful slow pace, in through the nose and out through the mouth. And I invite you to close your eyes and feel the eternal peace that is your natural state of being. Allow yourself to be supported in this comfortable position of total relaxation. Whatever thoughts you've had for the day, you can dismiss them just for now, just for a little moment. 
so that you can really tune in to the energy of your core soul and allow that to communicate with you in these next few moments. For when Cryon speaks to us, it is a soul-to-soul communication for all of us. Delivered from Cryon, who has never been human, is simply there as a messenger of hope, telling you that you are the hope for the planet and the forerunners of the galaxy. So thank you, dear Cryon, for the messages of love, empowerment and peace that you bring to us. Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. Speaking of affirmations yet again is an important aspect for the human being to know. Is it possible that the human being has any control whatsoever of life, of what happens to them, of how the future unfolds? To most on the planet, the answer is no. It has not yet occurred to them, or perhaps they haven't had an enlightened thought that perhaps that, that words are a reflection of consciousness and that go out into the air and manifest themselves through the divinity that they represent of a human being. There is so much here to rewrite and reframe in what so much of the human race believes. It simply isn't believable, mostly because of the programming that so many of you have had that says that you are, first of all, not worthy to do this. And the second thing is that who could believe that just saying things might change things? Both have to be rewritten. You have known this for some time, dear ones, at the core level of everything you believe, that as you see things, they can be. Do you think it's possible that you can change your future by what you say today? And the answer I will give you is that this is a tool that has always been for you. This is the divinity that you come in with, that some of you in this age have to relearn. That some of you in this age have to reframe and discover. But truly, I will tell you that this has always been with you. Perhaps it's been buried in your Akash or Perhaps you've known it all along, but been afraid to even try it. Affirmations work. If you start slowly, as one who doesn't use affirmations, you start to understand and realize something that's almost laughable. Here you sit, perhaps feeling unwell, and your affirmation says, I feel great, <laughs> as you cough a little and wheeze a little. I am thankful for my health as you cough a little and wheeze a little. And you say, this is crazy talk. Here I am saying something that isn't so. You're going to have to get beyond that because this is the actual focus of what I want to tell you. No matter what's happening in your life, the affirmations that you then put out in a positive way, which could be the opposite of what's happening in your life, will then change your life. You are laying the groundwork in front of you by positive affirmations, even if you're not feeling well. Do you see what I'm saying? So you lay out a foundation. You're building a house of health. Picture yourself perhaps unhealthy, sitting watching a plot of land but speaking what the house is going to look like the perfect foundation of health forever for my life 
the walls which are built strong and won't be then penetrated by viruses and disease. Do you see what I'm saying? So you're sitting outside of that building, the house, and you might feel poorly, but your affirmations are then the building words that are going on. Oh, there's so much to say. Not just about your health, about your future, about your abundance, about your relationships. And you start building every single one of those homes, those houses, those businesses, or whatever you want to call them with your affirmations. You're building a future and eventually you open the door and you walk into that house that you built. That's how it works. In this channel, I would love to establish for you belief. There are so many of you say, I'm not sure I can do it. I will tell you, yes, you can. I want you to take all that negativity of what you think you can do or what you've been told you cannot do and throw it in the trash can. I want you to start at zero if you wish. You can do whatever you want. The energy is clean, clear, ready. Don't let everybody or anybody on this planet tell you you don't deserve it. Or perhaps you've done something that you won't succeed in this. It's not so. Instead, it's just the opposite. You're born magnificent with these tools. It's time to discover them and put them to work and change everything about yourself. This is the power of affirmations. There's something going on on this planet right now, an enhancement of humanism. Life force, light, all of these things being enhanced. And that is creating this tool of affirmations to be allowed to be used so much grander in beautiful ways than it ever has before. To create faster manifestations and also to occur to many more than otherwise would see this. This is why I have asked for this particular class or course or episodal event to be created where you could then say these affirmations with us. It makes a difference, dear ones. These are the ones we originally gave that are now going to be expressed yet again. This is the invitation. It's not necessary, dear ones, for you to do anything with us. You can do this all completely on your own. You can make your own affirmations. They're going to be just as powerful. The invitation here is when you do it with us and you do it in a structured way that has been given to you on purpose, it's a coherence that you wouldn't have before. It's a coherence with not only my partner and his partner and myself, it's a coherence with you, the greatest healer alive for you. This is my message today. The beauty of affirmations is grand. It's gotten even bigger and stronger. It manifests faster. We need you, dear one, old soul, to be healthy, stay here beyond your years and change this planet. And affirmations are the beginning of that. I'm crying in love with humanity. And so it is.